Right on what exactly led to the popular rapper's murder last month. Our Marcelino Benito has been looking through the documents. Marcelino, what are you learning? Well, and to me, I have those documents right here, and they detail how police zeroed in on murder suspect Patrick Clark with the help of surveillance cameras all over downtown that helped detectives piece this all together. Now, police say 34 people were standing outside the bowling alley before the shooting started. That included Takeoff, Quavo, and local producer Jay Prince, among others. Quavo began arguing with two men who had just won money off a dice game. One of them was later ID'd as Cameron Joshua, who was facing weapons charges. A physical fight broke out, and then two men opened fire. One of those men is murder suspect Patrick Clark. Now, police say Clark is seen on video pulling out a gun and firing multiple rounds while holding a wine bottle in the other hand. After the shooting, Clark is seen fleeing to the House of Blues where he left that wine bottle. Fingerprints matched Clark's when HPD later had it tested. Clark briefly returned to the bowling alley before finally leaving the area. Investigators say forensics prove Clark is the only person who could have shot and hit takeoff from where both men were positioned. Takeoff was shot twice once in the back and once in the head. Again, investigators say takeoff was an innocent bystander in all of this. Now, Clark was arrested during a traffic stop by the HPD gang division on December 1st. He had a gun on him at that time, but it was not the one used in the shooting. He did not make any comment during that arrest, but new today, he has asked the judge for money to pay a private investigator. Of course, we'll stay on top of all this and bring you the latest as we get. It. Well, you've seen the report, bro. It's just crazy because this shit just sound like a case of niggas doing nigga shit, bro. This nigga got the shooting with a fucking wine bottle in his fucking hand. Then he leaves the bottle somewhere else. It was a fight turned into a shootout. I'm kind of thinking that if that was the dude Migo Bands, like maybe, maybe somebody draw their gun and that's what made it go to a shootout. I hope that's what made it go to a shootout. And I hope that niggas has just start shooting off the rip just because other niggas was fighting. Because it's like, nigga, you, you can't throw hands, you can't fight, you know what I'm saying? But... It's just, it's just another uh, example of niggas doing nigga shit, bro. Takeoff got killed for nothing, bro. He was an innocent bystander. These niggas fighting over gambling, over like dumbass shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It had to, it, it, right? Just how it sounded. We should have known it had to be a nigga holding a wine bottle in his hand <laughs> or a liquor bottle or something. You know what I mean? I don't know what he was drinking, but this shit is unfortunate, bro. It's just totally unfortunate. It's fucked up. <laughs> and I don't know what else to say, man. Stop doing nigga shit, man. Let me know what you think. Like, comes right.